say some. Chopper come out of the box like a motherfucking ray gun. Think you a beast, but you ain't one. You are not on the same page as a kid, you just page one. They had no luck, I had to make some. When I get rich, drop a Tesla on day one. What color Tesla I want? The red one. What kind of red he want? The Shanks one. My niggas know I got drive. Dripping that wheel. I swear, nigga got callus. My team ain't losing, don't know why you challenging. Chopper go. Like it's All right, ladies and gentlemen, and everything in between, we're back for some more One Piece. Last time we watched episodes 882 to 884, and today we'll be watching episodes 885 to 887. Now, in the last video, we went ahead and not only got some recaps on some pretty dark moments in the Straw Hats journey, but also got some new information concerning the royals of the world, as well as the third admiral of the Navy, Rio, 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 Rio Kugyu. Uh, was sort of introduced in the way One Piece likes to do introductions now of having a very shadowy character while they're still talking and acting like themselves. I mean, they've done it before. I think one of the first times they introduced Crocodile, he was a pretty shadowy figure too. So it's not exactly um, new ground for the series. But I gotta say, I just want to see what the guy looks like. But maybe they're holding off the reveal till later. But the guy is... As expected, a very eccentric character. They're either going one way or the other in terms of the extreme, super serious and deadly and uh, very psychopathic, or they're on the wackier, you know, just sort of on the the carefree side of things. And it seems like the guy, I, I mean, you know, the original three of Akainu, Kizuru, and Aokiji sort of had a three, uh, the, the three of them almost met in the middle like they they evened each other out you know what i mean um akainu was very 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 serious dead tone that sort of thing kizuru was very laid back didn't really care sort of goofy and then aokiji was the more level-headed one and um it seems like the extremes are being tested now although kizuru is still in there fujitora taking the place of aokiji's level-headedness and uh you know he's a his want for you know just mutual peace for the most part he he kept he kept some of some of the uh less uh you know the less favorable parts of the navy within him but he still had probably the most um he's probably the most generous or the most uh the nicest of the three of them um kizuru being pretty indifferent he still kill people regardless but uh, he was still goofy and wacky in his own way um, but now Fujitora being very, very opposed to a lot of the things that the government does and government interference and going about his, uh, his ideology in a rebellious way, at least in the government's eyes. So, uh, kind of definitely isn't having it. Um, but now we have this new individual, Ryo Ky I cannot pronounce that name, bro. Ryo Kugyu, who is, um, well, we didn't really get too much on him, right? We did find out that he's like doing some three-year fast or something like that but um he doesn't seem like the type that's going to obey the government's every whim you know he still does seem like he's his own person independent and all that so it does make me wonder where the government exactly finds these people are they vice admirals that we never heard of were they a part of the navy at some point and just ranked up are they individuals that are outside of the government or something like that um i'm not sure but it does seem as though that uh a lot of them are sort of Mm, I wouldn't say against, but jaded by the government's um, influence around the world. I think they get just how scummy a lot of the things the government do. But you know, they're they're the navy; they're the government's attack dog, so it's not much they can do. Um, but in other other news, we got to see the arrival of um, Shira Hoshi and her family, Fukuboshi, King Neptune, all of them, into uh, Marioa or Mary Jo, or whatever, alongside Garp, who she found out that was actually Luffy's grandfather, and he, uh, he, he seemed pretty indifferent. He's like, okay, this kid is just making friends everywhere. All the royals around the world, he's just making friends, it seems. But um, they ran into King Steli, the adoptive brother of Sabo, who we also saw the Revolutionary Army sneaking their way into Mary Joa. Um, but Sabo's adopted brother, King Steli, current king of the Goa Kingdom, where, of course, Sabo ace and luffy grew up and it seems as though he was able to attain his um title through less than legal ways possible but you know what we're not gonna ask questions because who cares because this guy seems like an absolute tool 
um but he is on his way to trying to move up as a celestial dragon we know that's not going to happen because the celestial dragons view anyone that isn't a celestial dragon as subhuman and the royals are just barely passing by They're the royals like your your status as royalty is like to them like you're just a commoner right <laughs> and then the commoners to the celestial dragons are the scum of the earth and then the actual people of poverty are just they're dirt right so it's like their viewpoint on the royals are is already kind of low um so stella even thinking that he has any type of a chance to just move up as a celestial dragon is hilarious to me so i think he's going to get a dosage of how they feel about him is going to be reflective of how he feels about other people so um it's gonna be a nice reality check you know taste of your own medicine kind of thing so might see that happen but moving on to the actual land of mary joe we got to see some pretty dark sinister things that are going we already knew that the celestial dragons are not exactly ones to stray away from using slavery but they're literally having the slaves push along the sort of floor i don't know what it's called like the floor uh treadmill thing or I don't know, a conveyor belt thing <laughs> have those in the airports and shit so i don't know exactly what it's called but they're actually pushing it along i thought it was automated but no it is not i would assume vegapunk could build something or develop some with the tech they have but i don't know maybe they just get a kick out of using them for that sort of purpose but uh meeting along with the other royals inside of the main area uh shirahoshi meets up with the other princesses that luffy is um befriended over the years including vivi and princess um rebecca i was about to forget her name and uh, i guess technically princess mancherry too right so uh, a lot of the people that luffy has met along the way sort of just sharing their stories about who luffy is as well as you know having the recaps of the different events in their past marine ford i believe um luffy's uh pre-time skip um his origin or whatever as a kid um, when Sabo got hit by the Celestial Dragon and, of course, Alabasta. Um, but I think that just about catches us up here. So, if you guys would like to watch full reaction, links are always in the description. Early reactions also in the description. But let us get into it here. Episode 886. Lego. Oh, boy. What are we getting into now? What was that? <laughs> it's time to gossip about the straw hats. And the side characters of the side characters are gossiping. <laughs> Not really gossip. Fukuboshi, Igram, and uh, Viola. Who the fuck? Who's that? <gasps> oh my god, not this guy. King of the evil Black Drum Kingdom. Who are you? Ah, uh, Vivi beat his ass. You remember what he did last time he slapped you. He sent him flying like Alvita, but unlike Alvita, he ain't lose weight. <laughs> I know I'll be the devil fruit, but nah, my head cannon is that Luffy punched the weight out of her, but it ain't work for this dude. No, 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 no. He was one of Luffy's hoties. <laughs> one of Luffy's hoties. That's how sure Oshi will get it. Honey. My gold digging self laughs. <laughs> <laughs> Oda really just creates caricatures. My dude, Dalton. Bro, the way I remember these names, you just know these characters really hit, bro. <laughs> Young Kareha. <laughs> they got the damn bunny, too. Old witch hag. How dare you. I charge you a higher medical fee about that bag. I think this is the first time we see past characters actually uh, 
talking to each other. Drum Kingdom recap. BB no and the bubble jacket got bopped. I remember I actually thought she died. <laughs> it's like impossible. His face is flat on the ground. He's like pressing it up against there. <laughs> when Luffy asked for forgiveness, he really asked, bro. <laughs> He was kissing the ground. Isn't this the first time we even heard of Blackbeard? I think it was, because he was the one that attacked them. And then I think they found out about Ace because he came asking about Blackbeard. I don't know if they found out about Ace at that point, but I mentioned Ace came through trying to look for Blackbeard. Dr. Hiruruk. I think because Drum Kingdom was right before Alabasta, it's kind of easy to forget. But this arc had some pretty crazy moments. Dr. Hiruka, Chopper's whole storyline, Luffy's uh, climb up the mountain. Luffy's climb up the mountain was. That was tense, <laughs> to say the least. Give you status and a medal. Good to know, Drum Kingdom is still in good hands with Dalton, though. Only King Luffy's worried about the King of the Pirates. I was thinking this guy should have died if he landed in the water, but like, they never seem to. Especially when Luffy blasts them off islands pre time skip. My Sabah, I don't know you anymore, dude. <laughs> Who are you? Get out of my face. Oh, hitting him with the Zoan. Yeah. Uh-huh. Keep talking. <laughs> so I'm a leader too, now I'm a king. Talk down to me again. Of course. But you can't really say it out loud, isn't it? You're royal. <laughs> Everyone who really knows him just is a bestie. It's Fry 141. <laughs> oh boy. Mmm, Chopper. Yeah, I think them two saw him, but not uh, Rebecca. Still treating the future king of the pirates. I don't think Korea realizes just how many times this crew would have died if it wasn't for Chopper. <laughs> Chopper and his medical expertise. Speaking of Chopper, I feel like he should get a bounty now, right? After making it through uh, Big Mom's territory, because he was kind of out in the open. Pretty sure Big. Well, I don't think Big Mom or any of them gonna snitch. Maybe Morgan's didn't see him and didn't care. The headlines really, as far as everyone knowing, was Luffy and Sanji. It 
will serve under you, oh man. Bro, he's conscripting people into the Straw Hat army. <laughs> Marry me? Who's that? that? That's, um... Suleiman, I think? Oh, Cavendish, too. <laughs> oh. For being too popular. <laughs> what type of... Loyal followers that want to marry Cavendish. Clearly, they're going to come in handy at some point in the future. Maybe in the war in Wano. Whatever goes on with uh, Kaido we might need some backup. Not even to beat him, but just to survive. In Perdon. Yeah, you can't break that guy. <laughs> Hoodies with the Luffy bounty. Somebody important. They clacking when they walk. They shadowy figure once again. Secret room. Where are we at? Is this where the one piece is hidden? Look at the clothes on this guy. The tail on that is. Spanning quite a while. What is going on? What the f What did I just look at? Oh, I'm... <laughs> do I do with this hit for what is that? Is that a frozen hat? Is it? I guess it is frozen. Looks like it's cold in there. And who is this guy? All right, I don't know where this guy's body begins and ends. Is the head right here or is like because he's holding the. All right, well, I don't know what to do with this <laughs> information. I didn't know is that. OK, it's definitely Mary Jo. Mary Jo huh? um, goes. Is he going down or up? I think he's going. Is he going up? Yeah, he's got no dog. I am so disoriented. I where, What am I looking at? I think this is down. No, it's up. But then the candles are like, this is so weird. Okay, in some secret ass room, you got a giant frozen straw hat and you took Luffy's bounty down there. What other, he had another, here's another piece of paper back there. That's the one piece, bro. <laughs> I don't know what the hell I'm looking at, dog. Uh, is it giant too? Like what? Is it a giant straw hat? Or is this guy just not a regular size? So many questions. More questions than answers. Why'd you give this to me? I don't know what to make of that, bro. <laughs> and how much you want to bet that's not going to be touched upon until another 300 episodes. Remember that small scene we showed you with the shadowy figure walking up to a frozen straw hat? Well, here's what it means. Episode 2004. Oh, my lord. Um, let's see, what other new info do we get here, other than the, everyone having a reunion for the most part, we get to see some uh, familiar faces for the most part, and, uh, yeah, there wasn't too much to this other than, um, you know, Luffy's extended crew, sort of self-appointed extended crew, recruiting more people, um, which is always good to see, we definitely might need some more people in the future, and them over here in Impel Down, level 6. Keeping Doflamingo tied up. I don't think there's any way that this guy can escape these sea stone hand. I'm pretty sure they're sea stone. Um, tied up like this. I, unless somebody wants to free him, there's no way he's getting freed. 
but I don't know. You, you can never say what these like the war criminals and underground, um, you know, being a part of the underground crime syndicate. I'm sure Dofamingo has plenty of connections that would be more than helpful in getting him out of Impel Down. But I think he's just too hot right now. Like it's too many eyes on all this, so I don't know if they're gonna get him out anytime soon. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what this means. I'm going to have to see if they do anything with this in the next episode. I doubt they will, but let's get into it here. Episode 887. Let go. I think I said 886 or uh, 887. We're actually going to 886 now. We're on 885, so I got that mixed up. 886. Here we go. King Neptune of the Ryugu Kingdom. Marijoa. Queen Otohime. Don't tell me we're getting a Fishman Island recap. If we're getting a Fishman Island recap, I might skip through it a little bit. <laughs> That's too recent for a recap. I'm sorry. Alright, it's fine. Just a little flashback. A little flashback. Don't make it the whole episode. Pangea. Pangea? Pangea? I think that's Pangea. Steli. What you looking at? The Celestial Guards. Fuck, Game of Thrones? What's going on? <laughs> the Empty Throne? Oh, we're getting some royal lore over here. Center of the world. The King of the World. Yeah. Dream about it. <laughs> Look at him. He's about to run there and get killed. Mingling Plaza. What the? What are you doing? You're grappling a princess. Oh, this guy. St. Charlos. Oh, yeah. He knows, bro. You can't do nothing. Oh, my God. That's sick. That's sick, bro. You can't, you gotta just watch your daughter get taken. Whole princess. Yeah, Luffy ain't here. It's a clock that's doing the chin. Dude. Oh my god, Lael's running in. They're not gonna see him though, right? Oh boy, Sai is dead. Is that Luchi? Yeah, he definitely saw Leo quick, bro. <laughs> he saved y'all, honestly. He really did. Right, he's part of Cypher Pulse Zero now. Yep. He did save you. Kaku! Stasi CP0 So those are the only two they kept out of Eni's lobby, CP9 Pre-time skip looked so good Sniper King Shoot down that flag. Kabuto. Firebird star. My boy shot a flaming crow at that shit. The impact. The power. We're willing to declare war on the world for you. I want to live. <laughs> they got their ass beat. Cow cow fruit model giraffe. One of the, probably the wackiest Zoro fight. <laughs> Even Pico isn't as wacky as this, considering his voice. 
man's fought a whole giraffe. And he just got the devil fruit too. I remember this. It was funny. He's trying to figure out how to use it. Got the demon uh, Asura. Oh, yeah, demon Asura, right? Nine blades. Nine sword style. Light work. Show me a lot of Zoro without any recent Zoro. I'm missing my boy Zoro. First time I see Zoro, current Zoro. I expect to have a conversation <laughs> about Sanji's boost and bounty. That he's going to be plenty pissed about. First usage of gear second. That shit made Gear Second look so crazy. <laughs> I was like, this shit must have been so overpowered. Model Leopard, Rob Lucci of CP9. You better show the Gatling. <laughs> Greatest move of this entire series. IMO. Hands down. Easily. I got better after. He just needs a steak, bro. Healing properties of steak. Boom. Boom, the best one, bro. The best one, bro. Jesus, he kept hitting him even after he went unconscious, I'm pretty sure. His pupils are gone. It's like a wild flailing. Man. This one was insane. He just put everything he had into that because he just knocked out immediately after. Not knocked out, just like fell. Couldn't move, bro. Who? My boy got clocked again, bro. Pre and post time skip, but who did it? Is that another celestial dragon that hit a celestial dragon? That's fair game, right? <laughs> With a club, too. Who this? Who is you? Oh, he's the guy Oda. Yeah, that's what I was thinking about. The dude Oda Hime saved. Wow. So he actually changed and became a better person. Look at that. Oda Hime's will. Oda Hime's will coming to fruition. Wow, dude. That is. Wow. Talk about good karma. <laughs> I was over here rooting for this guy to die. Of course, it comes back around, all the way back around, dude. Don't save him. He don't want to be saved. But she saved him. And now he saved her girl, bro. Poetic. Poetic, truly. Even in death, the queen is over here saving her family. Sure, a hoe she would have been. Taken in as a slave anyway. Neptune would have been killed. Relations would have been destroyed. Man, but it is a hassle for them to be. Even amongst the humans in any way. If it takes all of this just to not be enslaved, bro. This man does not learn Charlos or whatever. 
Luffy clocking him wasn't enough. He might not care though. He's probably still gonna want a mermaid. Like, mm hmm. Saint Don Quixote Miosgard, a world noble. And he looks way different. Saint Don Quixote. Oh shit. That I was not expecting, bro. <laughs> Hold on, wait. Let me let me see his name again, bro. I was like, right. I was admonished by Lake Queen Oda. He maybe became a decent human. Yeah, like, I mean, he became a decent decent human. And he looks decent too. <laughs> looks way better than he did before. He looked like. Yeah, what's a celestial dragon gonna do about another celestial dragon hitting them like that? Not a damn thing, that's what. Well, he probably could, but I don't know. I don't know, because like we just went over the whole uh, uh, the the empty throne or whatever, talking about how that's the, signif um, the symbol of all the celestial dragons being equal no matter what. So, it seems as though none of them have any power over the other. So them having this little squabble, it's not as if Charlos can command anyone to kill him. He probably could, but like, he doesn't have any sort of authority over him and same vice versa. So them squabbling like that is just two people squabbling, it seems. <laughs> oh, man. Now, I do have to say, the, the, the first one with Luffy is more satisfying. But this one, this one did just fine. <laughs> it got him knocked out. Oh my god, how many times did you need to be knocked on your ass to realize that you can't just enslave people, bro? Look at this. Just doesn't learn. This is the face. <laughs> how long did it take you to heal from the one Luffy gave you? Now you needed a whole other one. Oh, man. I gotta say, Ryuga, he... Neptune, he tried, bro. He tried to keep his composure, but that's his daughter you just can't stand there and watch that even if you're gonna die you might as well go out fighting wow like, you know the right thing to do and you know how much you fought to get there but it's like what like, <laughs> you can't expect them to just stand there and watch bro oh man this is some interesting lore though center of the world five elders the highest rank. okay so there is a ranking amongst them okay i was wrong about that but the throne significance was that um, just as the most powerful in the world divide their power amongst five, no one rules the world single-handedly. Now, me. So, the five elders are the highest ranking celestial dragons. But this throne is supposed to signify that no one person controls the world. So, it's more so about the controlling of the world that's equal amongst them it's not any one person that does so but the five elders are the highest ranking celestial dragons regardless of that okay 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 well some more lore in the pocket to keep <laughs> um the throne's name was just empty throne i believe okay um let's get into the final episode here episode 887 like all right episode 887 Back in the blizzard. Ba -ba 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 back, back in the blizzard. Oh, this is Kaido. Okay. See alcohol? It's Kaido. <laughs> That's just all he's been doing, sitting in the cave, crying, drinking alcohol. He has been sulking. Oh no! Wow. I already know. <laughs> I already know, bro. No, 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 no. Don't do this one. Oh, I thought she was going to propose an alliance. Oh, maybe they might have some beef and it'll help us out. What kind of history do they have? Big Mom really been around the world, bro. <laughs> 
sir, bro. Y'all pissed off the wrong people. Mm -hmm. Man's got an army of zone fruits. Smile. Destroy it all. We pop the top off. Those are the names. They're from the generation. That generation. So we brought, uh, brought down three, but you know, <laughs> who's counting? I mean, I'm not counting, but it is three. Just so you know. Oh yeah, who did he have on lock? Was it Kid? I think it was Kid. Yeah, Eustace. He got his ass beat. Eustace. See, that's what I was afraid of, bro. I did not want any alliance to go through with them. It's like a common enemy, but still. Don't do it. Stop it! But, and, 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 and. Kaido doesn't seem like the type to make an alliance, but I don't know. I want to see. Oh, they're listening in. You sure? Well, maybe admirals. I don't know. Bro, this is gearing up to be crazy. Wow. Nah, bro, 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 bro. I knew this was going to be crazy, but this is crazy right now. Yeah, I know, Garp, you gotta be... This is serious right now, even crazier than whatever Marine Ford was. This is wild. This is Geon Vice Admiral. Okay. Before Roger. Please give me some lore. Pretty please. Have we ever heard that name before? Rocks? I don't know. You tell me, narrator. <laughs> you link to the two of them. I don't big mom. One point five Billy. Not big enough. <laughs> you say he's gonna go even crazier, bro? He might. <laughs> Nah, dog. I really did not consider the fact that Kaido and Big Mom could link up because they have a common enemy in Luffy, and that's just... Because when you think about it, if the Navy really does need to send the Admirals and Warlords there, this is the craziest, craziest group of people to have in the same spot. That's literally everyone. <laughs> like, you have the craziest, like... Two emperors, admirals, warlords, Luffy. And you're gonna have Trafalgar pulling up there. Eustace is locked up there. The Wars Generation, three of like, nah, nah, dog. Wano's about to go stupid, bro. 
Oh my god. I just gotta know what the... Jesus. Shit is about to get obliterated. When was the last time the crew was together? Punk Hazard? Like right before Dressrosa was the last time they were together? Oh no, they're together in Zao. Never mind. They just split up for... Um... Whole okay. Oh yeah, and he pulled up. He pulled up to your block. He bled it, and then he slid. <laughs> Literally, Luffy did <laughs> all three steps. <laughs> he pulled up to the block. He bled it, and then he slid. He gone now. Don't do 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 do. This whole emperors versus uh, worst generations, just like the OGs versus the young generation, the boomers versus the zoomers. <laughs> That's literally what this is. I guess Blackbeard isn't really an OG. He's a new G that ranked up to the OG, but still a new G, and they don't care about the new G like that. Whitebeard was an OG. It's just so frightening. They don't even call him a human. <laughs> He's the strongest creature in the world. What are we getting into? <laughs> How dare you call him a creature? That's not fair, man. Oh, yeah, I remember that. I gotta say, of the New World fights, this was probably the weakest one. <laughs> In hindsight, I don't really know if Caesar was all that strong. He was just very tricky. Then again, I guess you could say the same for Hody. He was just taking drugs. <laughs> oh, here we go. Literally just finished up this arc not a couple months ago. Can't forget that this man literally split an island taking this fool out. Doflamingo is definitely no slouch. Doflamingo is easily, easily the strongest villain Luffy's taken out. God, bro. <laughs> now, let's not um, mistake that with the strongest he's ever fought. Strongest he's taken out. Doflamingo. Easily. This is where we amassed our army. I'm gonna be honest, this ain't a bad looking army, man. <laughs> These are some pretty strong individuals to have behind us. I guess Luffy wants to keep his circle small, but you definitely need numbers to do what you're trying to do right now. One of the shorter arcs of the. Honestly. Zao was more of just an exposition arc. <laughs> it was like the... Um, it was kind of like the let's, let's slow down, take a breath, and set up everything that's to come in this arc. A lot of lore and a lot of exposition for the coming uh, fights here. Zenwano. And they needed it <laughs> after Dressrosa. After Dressrosa and prior to everything that's happening now, they definitely needed this uh, Ninja Pirate Mink Samurai Alliance. 
Yep, Sanji put a wrench in all that. This definitely turned out to be way more than a, a side story or whatever. Or like a side mission. That's so unfortunate, man. Like, if this didn't happen, we wouldn't have needed to bring Big Mom into the fold. You know what I mean? That's so trash. It was already tough enough having to just fight Kaido on his own, but <laughs> really need to bring Big Mom into this. Like, come on, dude. Yeah, I don't, I don't know where you think you're going right now, Luffy, but you're going to need to call on that snake again, <laughs> fighting Kaido. That snake and you come back. All right, now we're caught up. We've literally gone through damn near everything since the start. There are no more flashbacks that need to happen. Give me lore. Yeah, you will. You better. I don't say too. We continue. I need. I need some more info. One point five. Is this how this man is going to declare war? I swear, it's only dragging that be wearing cloaks like that. No, it's not his voice. Whose voice is that? I feel like I recognize that voice though. Um, it is okay. Yeah, I was about to say it's a Shanks. He's got that calm voice. <laughs> so an emperor can really pull up in y'all's crib like this. <laughs> so I leave my boy Luffy out of this. I. Right? <laughs> All right, here are my top three picks for who he's talking about. First one is Luffy. I think that's the most likely. Second, Blackbeard. So I know him and Blackbeard got beef. He's the one that gave him that scar. Third, maybe Kaido. Because he's worried about what Luffy is getting into right now. Um, so yeah, it's either Luffy or one of the Emperors. Because it could it could be Big Mom as well. Um... Yeah, I'm impressed that he has such pull with the government. Um, I think amongst the emperors, he's probably like not cool with the government, but there's like this mutual understanding. Like maybe he doesn't do too too many crazy things like the other emperors, like as far as ruling territory and all that stuff. But this is all speculation just from what I've seen of Shanks because we've seen him like three or four times in a fucking 900 step 900 episodes that we've been through at this point so he's hardly in the series but um you know with the way he was able to stop marine four with his overall composure and uh well paramount war rather his overall composure and the way he goes about things like he's not very um he doesn't instigate things he's not very antagonistic um he's not uh He's not a very violent person, it seems, but if he needs to get down and dirty, he's willing to, you know what I mean? He's he's calm, cool, and collected, and he fights when he needs to be. That's the type of character that I gather from Shanks. Um, but most importantly, his rapport with the um, government, Navy, and, you know, actual government included, uh, it makes me think that he's uh, he, he almost serves like a proxy. And as far as the emperors are concerned, he's probably the closest to being like almost like a warlord to them. Um, because we know like, you know, the government always calls upon the warlords whenever, uh, cause you know, they're contracted by the government or whatever, like they're under their thumb, but he, he has the freedom to do what he wants cause he's an emperor. So he's not exactly contracted by the government, but I don't know, like they're, they're, they're higher ups in the, in the government. Like now we see with the five elders, but even before with Sengoku that the way they respond to him, I don't know if they consider him an active threat like the same way they might view blackbeard kaido or big mom like those other three seem like wild cards almost but um the way shanks operates around them especially it just doesn't seem it does, it, i feel like it doesn't have the same uh they don't have that same type of view of shanks 
Um, cause I can guarantee you if any of, if any of the other emperors walked up like this, they would not let them in. <laughs> I'm surprised they were going to just let Shanks in like that. I was confused at first. It almost seemed like a dragon. Um, cause then I'm like, why would y'all, why would y'all just let dragon in? But I don't know, maybe cause he's leader of the revolutionary army, they would be okay with him coming in too. But yeah, I don't know. It, it does seem like, it seems like a a weird relationship for a pirate to have with someone like the five elders who are essentially the closest thing we have to like the leaders of the world um but yeah that's just that's impressive I, I am interested to see who he's talking about though my my bet is luffy but it could be it could be a lot of people he's like there are a lot of important pirates to talk about right now yeah this beginning meeting right here is definitely frightening uh to say the least as far as kaido and big mom linking up um, if that is the case, then again, Shanks could be worried about that. Luffy getting himself into some very big trouble if two emperors are to link up and try to take him out. Because Kaido and Big Mom, arguably the most unhinged and dangerous. Now, Blackbeard is pretty bad. <laughs> but of the emperors, I feel like these two are not the ones that you want to mess with. Um, no, no, no. Blackbeard is too new, I feel like. I don't care how, what, how crazy his devil fruit is. Like, these two are just like something different um but yeah this is definitely gearing up to be one of the more dangerous arcs i think i, I do believe uh, a bulk of the one piece arcs don't really lend themselves to having uh you know the most uh, uh like i don't know how to say it um the most frightening stakes for the main characters specifically i think the main crew it's just in my mind that they're going to make it through alive through most of these arcs. Um, the ones that you're always scared of scared of is like, you know, side characters um, because it just doesn't seem like any of this. The straw hats are far too small to kill any of them off, I think, because um, like Jim Bay is technically now in there. It's like, what, 10 members of the straw hats. We have Luffy. I always have to do the countdown. It's like luffy zoro nami sanji usopp chopper robin frankie brooke and yeah with jimbe that makes 10 so yeah i mean um yeah i don't i don't see any of them if any of them were gonna die i would say wano is the arc for that to happen but it just doesn't seem like that would be because it's too soon after this big two-year time skip for any of them to go down like that i don't doubt there's gonna be like there is death in whole cake island like so i don't doubt that um wano is gonna have uh, some big deaths but i don't think of any of the straw hats but there is i feel like there's gonna be just like how i feared with marine ford something crazy was gonna happen as far as deaths were concerned i think um wano is that same way because again like marine ford you have a clash of too many monstrous powers to not have any type of lasting consequences or casualties um because even with Kaido alone, it's scary. But if Kaido and Big Mom are in the same place at the same time, that's an, that's like clashing two nuclear warheads together. <laughs> You're not going to escape some type of travesty. That's just frightening. Um, and on top of that, you have uh, Luffy Law is going to be there as well. And then Kid has already been confirmed to be captured there. So I'm sure at some point he's going to get freed. And then they might just cause a ruckus and and then on top of that you have the navy afraid um even kizaru the the lazy laid back one is just like i might, I might have to pull up bro <laughs> and then uh a kind of told him not to told him to wait but like if the admirals have to pull up and even send the warlords there too yeah this is not looking like it's gonna be a very fun arc it's gonna be a stressful demanding uh hell of an arc that's for sure um but yeah that does it for this video ladies and gentlemen it seems like we're getting closer and closer to heading into wano i think yeah i think the wano episodes are going to be after the next video right wano starts around 8 90 or something like that the reverie arc is only supposed to be 12 episodes so i think we're wrapping up reverie uh next video and then we'll start wano the one after that so we're getting into it, y'all. This is going to be frightening. The most recent arc of One Piece heading into it. But that does it for this video, ladies and gentlemen. Next time, we'll be watching episodes 888 
889 and 890. But that wraps it up for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoy these episodes just as much as I did. And I hope to see you all in the next one. Peace.